Okay, so as promised, we're going to talk about vertical and horizontal line comparison. So what that means is horizontal, uh, let's go with the horizontal first, would be looking at comparisons going this way, and vertical would be looking at comparisons going this way. So for example, if I wanted to compare the end of his head, it looks like it should be Vertic or vertically, it's going to be the same as kind of where the neck starts. So I need to look at mine, and oh, I can see I have a big problem because the end of his head is more like right here, and that is not where it should be. So we're going to need to do some work with this head and neck area, and I figured that out by doing my horizontal comparison. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix that first. I'm actually going to erase this whole thing and it's a good idea to do this first you don't want to have that head all drawn and then you've got a problem okay so right now I just have some shapes it's easy to fix okay so let's look at our reference photo the back of this head needs to be even with here so the let's look at our probably right about here and the back of the head should be somewhere like that okay so let's do our um, and we, we already know how tall it needs to be. I think that's pretty accurate. We can double check that. So we'll double check that by checking our body and comparing it with how high our neck needs to be. So there's our body, ends right there. And the top of the head, it's almost, it's about three quarters as long. Okay, so this here and about three quarters as long it starts over here I think we were okay with that but this is where the head needs to end okay so let's take a look at this angle I'm gonna redo that check that angle it goes like this okay so it's gonna need to stop right there okay so let's go ahead and and make that and now when I draw my head it's going in the right it's in the right spot okay so this is a vertical comparison okay all right so let's add the beak remember I did that too too big last time um, let's check uh, let's look back here and let's check uh, a horizontal comparison let's do the legs those knees if I compare them horizontally, those knees are almost exactly across from each other. Okay, so let's look and see in our drawing, are they across from each other? Yep, the knees are okay. Let's look at the feet. So if I put my measuring tool underneath the bottom of this leg, this leg ends up higher, right? So let's make sure that happened. Oh, that did not happen. This that leg is actually lower. So I know that I need to shorten this leg up a little bit. And now, let's see. Hmm, okay, it's a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter. I might even move that up just a little bit more. Okay. All right. So vertical um, comparison, vertical line comparison is when you compare um, a straight vertical line on your drawing with your reference photo. And horizontal line comparison is when you compare a horizontal line with your photo reference and your picture. Okay? All right, so that's that. Now the next one we're going to talk about is looking for negative space to make sure that you've got everything where it needs to be. Okay.